Hello and welcome to the PolyKit channel. This video is a short update on the voice card series. If you haven't seen my video where I talk about the basic design of a voice card for a polyphonic synthesizer, I'm going to link it in the description below. A voice card holds all needed components for a single voice in a polyphonic synthesizer. Multiple cards are combined and can be controlled by some logic or microcontroller. This brings the benefit that the PCB layout only needs to be done once and the number of voices can be easily changed. I almost finished the schematics for the card in KiCad. There are only a few open questions I need to address. If you enjoy content like this, please subscribe and like. This really helps the channel and secures its future existence. As you can see, there is a connector which holds all input and output signals of the card and connects to the main board. There are three main components. The ADSR envelope generator, the voltage controlled oscillator and the AS3372E which is an integrated circuit consisting of a VCF and multiple VCAs. In addition, there is some circuitry to buffer and switch between signals. The ADSR is based on the AS3310 integrated circuit. The design is based more or less on the datasheet. I adjusted some capacitor resistor values, which are more common. The VCO is based on the AS3340 IC. I changed some resistor values for more convenience. There are some adjustments for better pulse signal response. I used minus 5 volts negative supply for better pitch stability. For the filter and VCA, I use a AS3372E. It has a 4 pole VCF, a VCA to mix two input signals, a VCA for signal shaping, for example by the envelope generator, and a panning VCA, which can be used in a stereo signal. While doing some research for the filter design, I looked at the schematics of the Oberheim Matrix 12 and Expander, which uses the Curtis 3372. It has a really interesting filter setup, which was not quite clear to me at the first look. It has 16 filter configurations, which can be selected by a 40, 51 multiplexer and an additional switch. All filter configurations are outlined on a table in the schematics. As you can see, after every pole of the filter, the signal is taken and can be combined together with the input and output signal of the filter. These signals are alternately inverted, so by combining them, a complete new signal can be created. One signal is subtracted from another one. This configuration is called a pole mixing filter. For example, by subtracting the filter's low pass response from the input signal, you get a high pass output. I'm totally fascinated by this concept and added a simpler version with 8 different filter responses to the voice card. It only needs a multiplexer, some resistors and a few op-amps to be implemented. There's a great article by Tom Wiltshire from Electric Druig on this topic. I'm going to link it in the description below in case you are interested. The next step would be to finish the design. There are a few open questions I need to tackle down and of course do the PCB layout and get it produced. While it is in production, I can think about a main board which holds multiple voice cards. Alright, that's all for today. Stay tuned for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and bye for now.